It's 90 degrees in Guadalajara, and the action is heating up even more. The main event tonight, Jose Chon Cepeda. He takes on India's Nidaj Gangster Goyat at a 10 round bout in the super lightweight division. The coming features Ensenada Baja California's Carlos Chema Ocampo taking on Mauricio El Bull Gutierrez, who's a lawyer by day, boxer by night. Then it's going to be Guadalajara's own undefeated Rafael Divino Espinosa. He takes on Rafael Rosas, a battle of Rafas in an eight round featherweight bout. But before that, in the super middleweight division, hot golden boy prospect Aaron Silva undefeated with a heavy right hand from Monterrey, Mexico. He tries to stay ready to go against Jaime Hernandez. And our opening bout, also from Guadalajara, Diego Torres, undefeated in 16 fights with 15 KOs, takes on Jose Segura in a 10 round lightweight bout. Body shot, another good body shot, followed by a hook upstairs from Diego Torres. Overhand right, now he's tagging him with Diego, a minute to go. Diego Torres is not going anywhere, by the way. You know, some opponents come with the record with 5'11", a lot of people pretty much go and get hit, and they take a knee. This guy's getting beat up, but he's still coming forward. Yeah, so who is tough? Yeah, he definitely is tough. He, uh, he rode the bus four hours, almost five hours, to get here for his fight. Took it on a, this week's notice, said no problem. His game yeah, is, Rene, is Jose Rene Segura in the red. I like the combinations I'm seeing from Diego Torres with 30 seconds to go in the third round. Mixing it up with some nice uppercuts and hooks. Oh, oh that overhand right, hand. right, that tagged him. And Segura That's comes back and he gets right back. Oh. He's got to be careful coming right back because he's yeah. eating the right hand. He's eating the right hand. Oh, hey, we're headed to the fifth round. Fifth round. Oh, nice up. So good. Says, come, come on, on. let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. I'll bust it up, but he's, he's here to fight. Stop the fight. The fight has been stopped? I believe so, due to the cuts. Yep. The corner has stopped the, corner has stopped the fight. And still undefeated, Aaron Invicto. Sapo Jalisco presente. Diego Azabache Torre. And he stops it. Whoa. <laughs> I got win for Silva. Sultana del Norte, Monterrey, Nuevo León. Aaron Silva. Credit to Espinoza, who's been sharp so far. He's been very sharp so far. It'll look very impressive getting a stoppage on a guy who's never been stopped before. Yeah, that right eye oh, of Rosas is closing right. quickly. Low, 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 referee telling him, come on. The referee's demeanor, like, you're getting scolded by this referee. Schooled, yeah. nice like, like your dad's like, you're like, come on, what are you doing? So this is Rosa's idea, right? You got, yeah. you, you got to make it ugly. You got to make it look ugly. Yeah. Oh. And the fight has been stopped. 
The referee jumps in and stops it. But why? Maybe the corner? Or was it that actual call? The corner looks like it has no, so maybe the corner high. No, but I didn't see the referee turn to the corner. Rafael Divino Spinoza! Gettys is starting to cover up, and it's your corner. How much punishment are you going to let your lawyer take? Oh, not too much after this. I mean, he's, he's taking them. He hasn't taking, landed anything this round. Nothing this round. He's been getting hit with everything. He's covered up more, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. I, I believe we found the corner just move him around and see how he does. And it's, if, if it's equivalent to this, then stop the fight. Yeah, there's nothing coming back from Gutierrez now here in the fourth. Less than a minute to go. Ocampo being able to do whatever he wants. Gutierrez keeps throwing back, though. You gotta give him credit. Yeah, but there's no steam behind no, those no punches. No steam whatsoever behind his punches. That's survival mode? Survival mode is finest right now. Yeah, that shot got yeah. through for Gutierrez. You don't want to be careless if you're Ocampo, too. I know his punches aren't hurting him, but you don't want to walk in something big. It might daze you or cut you. And they say there's levels to this, and you're starting to see the level of Ocampo. Who's fought? Who's fought? Who's fought? Fundora. As he looks hurt right now, his body language is not looking good right now. Nope. And he's just trying to get away. He's trying to get away. He's, he's a survival mode, like you said. But. Strong round for Chema Ocampo. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. How much more punishment will his corner let him take? So if you're Chema Ocampo, do you step on the gas and finish it? Oh yeah, you can definitely step on the gas. Continue using those body, body shots, working on the top, and eventually Gutierrez. And the fight has been fight. stopped. Gutierrez corner, great job by the corner of Gutierrez, protecting their fighter. It was just gonna be more punishment. More, more punishment, you don't wanna see that with a the, with the game fighter like. Yeah. Good dude, a lot of respect to him. Exactly. He was, there was levels to it tonight. You saw Chemo Ocampo do exactly what you talked about, Lex. Get back into the ring, shake off those cobwebs, and get the stoppage. Get a couple rounds under your belt and get the stoppage, and then move forward to bigger and better things, like I always say. on all of those and he didn't care he just wants a chance for the fight wants a shot. but it. right now is where you just got to come on and you got a guy that's putting his up down the pocket work trying Talking. to work the crowd just keep punishing him i know i know the punches may not hurt him as he's trying to wave it off have that poker face yeah but just take him into the game plan keep breaking him down he does a great job helping out amateur boxers. Amateur boxers. He, he uh, helps support a lot of the, the fighters who move on to say to Canada as pros. And he helps support them and, and guide them. Like, my country might not care about me, but I know that I care about the, pro, the, the fighters. One thing that he also did is he was a humanitarian and he was able to bring back Indian students that were studying in the Ukraine. When the war broke out in the Ukraine, he helped arrange to bring back over 100 students back to India. He said, that's what my legacy is going to be about helping people out. Wow. And he's using boxing as a way to bring awareness to his country. But isn't it on charm to control? Like this? More of that? <laughs> like that? Like that? That's control. what you should do if you're charm, right? Put your hands up, make punch yeah. them punish Maybe some reverse psychology. Maybe even Chon should start doing that to him. <laughs> but then that goes back to what you said. Don't fall his game. Yeah, then you, man, yeah, exactly. Then you play his game. He baits you in. Yeah, very tough to look aggressive against these fighters. Don't engage at all. Because he gets hit and moves quickly. He gets hit, moves quickly, puts his hands up in the air. He'll stay in the pocket for a little bit, but the, most of the time he's moving his upper body quite often. And then he... He gets like a little shell, and then once Chon's done, he sneaks one or two shots in there.
That was a lead right hook in the southpaw stance. Yeah, I think Chon is fighting this round with one hand. One hand. I mean, that's just my amateur opinion. What do you think, Lex? No, he's, def something? He's, he's definitely throwing his, his left hand, but he hasn't thrown it with a looping shot to the head. Now he's switching back to right hand. Final seconds of the fight. Chon Cepeda, Lidas Goya, our main event in Guadalajara, is going to go the distance. An interesting fight, an awkward fight. But for Chon Cepeda to get the 10 rounds of quality work, and for Goya, representing India, he's an interesting fighter. Interesting fighter. <laughs> interesting fighter. So we'll go to the judges' scorecards. Our first bout tonight that goes the distance. And now we go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Damas y caballeros, después de 10 rounds de combate, nos vamos con la decisión de los jueces. All three judges, los tres jueces, Carlos Ruiz, Juan Pulido, and Adrián Alvarado have the same scores of 100 to 90. Los tres jueces coincidieron en números 100 a 90. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision. Su vencedor por la vía de la decisión unánime. Is that make Baldwin Park. Y Mexicani Baja California. Oh, say, Joe.